Welcome to the cab familiarization video for the HD 785-A Rigid Frame Haul Truck. This video will review the interior of the cab. The goal is to get you familiar with the location of switches, controls, and features to make operating the HD 785-A a safe and comfortable experience. Now that we are inside the cab, the first thing we want to do is get familiar with the truck controls. We'll start with the adjustments that will make sure the operator is comfortable. There are multiple adjustments for this upgraded seat from height, weight, fore and aft, the seat cushion, back rest, arm rest, lumbar, heat, and ventilation. Each of these can be adjusted independently of each other. Also note the three-point restraint system for the seat belt. Mounted down on the left side of the seat is the bed dump lever. Let's move forward to the steering column. The steering wheel tilts and telescopes for operator comfort. The release handle for the adjustments is on the lower left side. Also on the left side of the steering column is the lamp switch, dimmer switch, and turn signal lever. Just below the turn signal lever is the knob that controls the windshield wipers and washer fluid. Let's look at the dash panel next. On the left side is a group of switches. First is the multi-switch panel, which controls the truck's monitor functions as well as the cab's heating and cooling controls. Next is the monitor brightness selection switch the side lamp switch, boarding ladder light switch, and the fog light switch. Just above these switches is the AM-FM radio. On the right side of the steering column is the retarder control levers. On top is the manual control lever, and below is the ARSC or auto retarder speed control lever. We will discuss these levers in more detail later on. The gear shift lever is mounted into the dash panel, just to the right of the steering column. The lever must be in neutral for the truck to start. Just to the left of the gear shift lever is the parking brake switch, which needs to be applied for the engine to start. The main monitor panel is centered in front of the operator on the dash. It includes a color LCD screen and a round digital tachometer. We will cover the monitor in another lesson. On the right side of the dash, we will find the hazard light switch and the secondary steering switch. When a situation calls for an additional steering oil supply, the secondary steering switch is manually operated. Never operate the switch for more than 90 seconds. Just below the secondary steering switch, we will find the two rocker switches, the AISS switch and the power mode selector switch. The AISS, or automatic idle set switch, allows the operator to select two different idle speeds, depending on conditions. When the top of this switch is pushed, the truck will stay at low idle as long as the throttle is not applied. The power mode selector switch also allows the engine output mode to be selected between power mode and economy mode. Just below these switches is the starting switch. The switch has four positions. First is the off position. The second position is directly to the right. In this position, the electrical system is active. If the temperature is below a specific rate, the intake grid heater will operate automatically. The third position is the start position. Turning the switch to the left and fourth position will allow the intake grid heater to be activated manually. To the right of the main monitor, switch panel, and above the shift lever is the ComVision monitor and ComVision monitor brightness adjustment switch. In front of the ComVision monitor are the ComVision selector switches, which will be gone over in more detail in another video. In the top right front corner of the cab is another monitor screen. This is the rear view monitor panel. The operator has the option to use the display continuously or only when the truck is in reverse. The brightness of this screen can be adjusted by the switch located just above the monitor itself. Let's move on to the center console. Just under the right arm rest is a console with another series of switches and components. Mounted to the front of the console is the engine shutdown secondary switch and the cigarette lighter. The engine shutdown secondary switch is used to stop the engine in the event that the starting switch is turned to the off position, but the engine does not stop. The cigarette lighter is now 12 volts. On top of the console are the left and right power window switches. To the rear of the power window switches are the heated mirror switch and the heated wire glass switch. Lastly, let's view the floorboard. Looking at the floorboard, we see a series of three pedals. From left to right are the secondary brake pedal, the red one, the service brake pedal, and the accelerator. The secondary brake pedal is to be used in the situation when either the service brake or brake retarder are not bringing the truck to a stop. The service brake is used to bring a rolling truck to a complete stop and hold the truck in position. Slowing the truck down on a regular basis with a service brake could cause overheating of the brakes, and this task should be performed with a brake retarder. 
The accelerator controls the engine output, therefore controlling truck speed. This concludes the cab familiarization video for the HD 785-8 Rigid Frame Haul Truck. For more information, please refer to the Operation and Maintenance Manual or contact your local distributor. You may also visit us at www.kabatsuamerica.com. Thank you for choosing Komatsu products.